Soccer. Oops. All right, guys. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. We're back at it again. Yes, sir. We're back with Robin. Back with me. Back with the mask. Sorry, guys, but <laughs> it is what it is. Still, <laughs> no face through. Uh, yeah. No, 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 not yet. No, yeah. I think uh, I told them earlier, maybe at ten thousand subscribers or something, then uh, then we might do it. But until then, guys, yeah, we're sticking with the mask. And come on, I mean, uh, you you all know us a little bit uh, background. I mean, I think if you do enough research on us, you could you you'll find them. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, I'm not really hidden. It's just no, uh, I don't want to be either. easily found. Sure. But uh, yeah. I think there's a lot of stuff that we need to talk about. Yesterday was a, a perfect, fantastic oh, day. Uh, I was so intensely happy, man. Yeah, Sorry. there was so oh, many shit. things. So we had zero KN, just basically rock calling everyone uh, on, from the downside. I mean, you know, it, it had this crazy week. Uh, by the way, I'm on the two week chart. Oh, but yeah. Don't mind, guys. Let's do, yeah, let's do one day. If I found it here. So, I had three fans that WhatsApp me and asked me what the fuck's happening with your again. <laughs> yep. And I told them, what did I tell them? Just wait, just fucking <laughs> just wait. wait. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> and this is, uh, I mean, this is, it, it gets, it, it doesn't get better in this, in my opinion. Previous all time high retest, and then it's just, I mean, come on. I mean, guys, we've been buying here. Nobody has been buying here. I, like, I know this guy was just like active in the chat saying, hey, well, I, I think I missed both, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, man, come on. Like, nope. I, I remember he bought somewhere here, but then he kept also stacking here, just like we did. I mean, what we've been you? buying we've been buying here. So for us, it was no problem. But this, we accumulated a lot. We actually, to be fair, we doubled our bags on this one. Absolutely. Like, it's, it's double now. So, uh, it, it's guys, come on. It was the perfect chance. And that's only one out of our five token portfolio, right? So we had also... Realio that did insane yesterday as well. So it, it did like, oh, he doesn't have it here. The percentages, or do you, Robin? You should have, right? No, sir. Uh, no, but it did also like crazy gains yesterday. So it was, it was um awesome. Let's see, from below to the top, it was also like third fourteen percent. So I mean, come on, there's literally nothing that didn't go as we planned. And then GHX, just to get it as well. It did also nicely yesterday, although now it almost pulled it back. But, but I mean, you can <laughs> see already the whole move, you know? You can see already the whole move. And it's just still going to go up, and it's reasonable, you know? And uh, till here, and then perhaps just come back down, reach as this area, and just continue, right? And then the Bitcoin chart, we also read it perfectly. I mean, come on. Like, I mean, look at this. Top, bottom, top again. Let's see if we can maintain here. I think it would be nice. It's certainly possible, man. Exactly. I, I, yeah, earlier, I shared the market update, and it would be nice if we just accumulate here. No redistribution, just accumulation, right? And just accumulate it, let alts run, and, and just continue. Just continue. Yeah, going back to the middle line of this uh, diagonal support, it's just a thought experiment. Uh, I think it's accumulating here as well. Mm -hmm. And just to be clear, guys, the zero can. The daily gain was 40%. Uh, we didn't uh, share yet. No, uh, it was 40%. <laughs> for it, was, zero. it was, I mean, uh, <laughs> One day. it was awesome. I mean, I have people that I know that I got them into Rio and, and Zero Can in the last uh, week or so, and they're absolutely happy about it. They're, they're, they're like mad at themselves that they didn't buy <laughs> yeah. GHX nor Pano. But I mean, come on, guys, Pano, I mean, I hope you, you have it over here. Please tell me you do on your browser. Yes, he does. Of course. of course he does. Yes, sir. Just please have a look at this. It went absolutely nuts. Just because of like some uh, some uh, shout outs that they got for free, guys, for free. They, these guys have been working on the darks. They've been publishing everything. They've been super transparent. They're kept building. It went insane. Just look oh, at oh, this. I mean, just look at fucking this. Man. So, uh, yeah. Though... You might say, oh, but it's sold out. Guys, it's a micro cap. It's still just sitting shy of a million dollars of market cap. We've been in since 450,000 uh, market cap. Not even, I, th I think it was 350,000 market cap. So it's, it's guys, it's it doesn't get any better than this. I swear to God, it doesn't get any better than this. And there's something happening on the backgrounds that I cannot share. But if that happens, 
it's it's going to be nuts this is going to go absolutely nuts for the people that are on our telegram they know it yeah. if you guys want to know more join our telegram it's going to be down in the description below join the telegram and you will see it yeah, i have some great info the team is uh sharing a bit of info uh that they cannot uh, tell yet but looking it's looking very very fucking promising yeah it's a lot of promise yeah yeah and they just got registered as well because they were like indie developers indie yeah. doesn't mean indian it means individual developers just for the <laughs> just just for the people that oh no for the indie no individual the best and if they are indie who cares as it's long as even they better man. exactly <laughs> it's going to be cheap no but if they make a good product if they make a good project which you guys can see already i tested it personally already on a, a private a private off i think it was and then also just uh, one random day he wanted to test on an m1 chip uh, like a macbook m1 chip how how it would run because we told him hey a lot of people are playing on mac there's barely yeah. any games on mac why don't you just start penetrating the market and uh, he did that he adapted it and now you can play it as well as on windows and on apple devices so i think that's that's a huge move yeah, he shared some updates as well. Uh, yeah, on the chat, that. on the chat, on our group as well. I shared uh, insights on how the new updates, the new weapons, the new movement system was going on, and uh, a lot of people bought. And you can again, you can join the Telegram group and see how people made insane gains with this. Can we measure this game from February? Just yeah, this, uh... for sure. So let's do. Yeah, you must have here the monthly chart. I just skipped it. Yes. So this month already, it's one hundred and seventy-three. Keep in mind, guys, we've been here since December. Like, yep. we've been here since December. So, it's right here, December. Let's just say it right here. It did already for us 235%. And we've been buying a lot. So, there's a lot of room uh, left <laughs> for growth. There's a lot of room left. Do you have Telegram on this uh, laptop? I think so, yeah. Yeah, if so. you have Telegram, you should open it because. I shared something in the chat uh, on Pano, but just so you guys get a perspective of this, $28 million of market cap is $1 per Pano. So it is very, very possible to to happen for Pano. Very possible. And, and I think it's it can easily be obtained. I think it can easily be obtained. I think, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is our Telegram. He's going to put it right on the screen. Yes, sir. So this is uh, this is our Telegram. Make sure, guy, you you just yeah you just join. It's it's nothing. Let's see. I think I shared it here in the morning. Yeah, here I shared there some more info. But hopefully, uh, yes, exactly. This is exactly what I was looking for, <laughs> guys. One dollar is twenty eight million market cap. Ten dollars is two hundred eighty million market cap. There are shit coins that did this in a matter of days, matter of a week. We just did this today, and there can be crazy gains made still. Of course. And if you look at their uh, graphics on X, they have all sorts of posts uh, showing their yeah. gameplay. Mm -hmm. It's insanely good. It's insanely good. Yeah, quality is insane. It's heavily undervalued if you look at the quality. Oh, yeah, 100%. And one thing that people actually should take note on is all of the tokens are in circulation. There's no inflation whatsoever, and uh, everything is just... Uh, how do you say that? Uh, it's just transparent because it's on the blockchain, so you can track yeah. all the wallets. Team only has marketing. There's a five percent buy tax and a five percent sell tax, yeah, but those taxes cool. are pretty usual and standard uh, as of today for the yeah. whole crypto market, especially for new projects, because that way they keep the, the the funding going for the project, for marketing, development, and th things of such nature. And guys, just so you guys have a quick uh, overview of our Telegram. We do basically everything here, right? So you can see we share basically, the, you can already see yesterday how many times we talked. I mean, it's, yeah. it's insane. And, and we, we do on-chain analytics, we do everything. And it's basically, we're every day on the on the chat, we're every day posting. And a lot of new people are learning in the chat. You yeah. see a lot of engagement there. That's uh, beautiful to see. Exactly. And the market updates, we do them super frequently. We do them like three, four times a week. And even if we don't do it, we're just posting charts, posting ideas, posting trade setups. Which is, uh, yeah, w which I think is the best way to to interact with people. Yeah, we can help you guys out if you have any questions, like uh, buying certain tokens uh, for portfolio, mm -hmm. or uh, yeah, some basic stuff like portfolio trackers, etc. Yep. Or yeah, some 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 tutorials. 
Definitely. Let's hear it, guys. Yeah, Let's hear it. definitely. So feel free to join. You have also our website, which uh, we've, we've, we've been really vocal about it. So uh, make sure to join. Make sure to have a look at the website. Make sure to follow us on social media because uh, this is just the beginning. As I said, this is just the beginning. Here you guys have basically everything uh, regarding to us. So make sure you have a read. Make sure you look at everything. And uh, yeah, the VIP is still not open. So make Guys, we're sharing everything for free, so just join the chat, have a good time. We're going to keep doing uh, live streams like we did, I think, two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to keep doing those and just join our Telegram, for example, it says it here already, and you're going to be redirected. And you're here. You're already part of the family then. So don't be shy. Say hello, join in, and yeah. I think now we can maybe just talk a little bit more about uh, Bitcoin. Yeah, sure. For the people... Yes. Do you want to start and then I'll join in or? Yeah. So if you look on the higher time frame, of course, we are in a beautiful uptrend and you see the our movement of Bitcoin in the channel here. It's very predictable movement. And now it's a bit more uh, yeah, neutral. It can accumulate here, in my opinion. It can also uh, go down. Uh, it is a bit of, uh, it's quite hard to break this structure because it's a higher time frame resistance. Mm -hmm. Yep. So be sure to, uh, yeah, what I'm doing is holding some cash uh, in hand uh, in, in case there's any dip, just in case there's any dip, because it, it is likely there's some, yeah, some bearish price action yet before yep. the halving. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you can, you can consider uh, the scenario where, yeah, the halving is getting priced in and people are going to buy more and more and more people join. But if, if I look at uh, yeah, social statistical data of uh, new people entering in the market, mainstream media entering in the market, that's not really happening. It's just hodlers and it's a bit of institutional buying pressure, but not uh, really mainstream media getting interest already in Bitcoin, uh, except for Pone News or some Dutch websites. But uh, yeah, it, it's not big that. So if you look at the cyclical behavior, and of the social metrics, there's still a lot of uh, loom, uh, room left yeah, to accumulate here a bit, go down a bit, and then uh, yeah, gear up uh, for, a, for a bigger rally coming very soon. Yeah, opinion. no, I, uh, I agree with that. I agree with that. I think, uh, I think you called it very well. I think uh, if we just go back in the chart again, I was trying to put the Fibonacci uh, extension tool. But yeah, this is a, a huge psychological level, 50K. It's, it's something very serious. Yep. And, uh, you know, people are going to be, oh, shit, you know, it's it, it maybe perhaps time to, to take some profit. Uh, but little do they know this is an uptrend and it's going to go up until it starts to go down. I mean, yep. I know it sounds too cliche, perhaps, but it's just literally how it is. If the trend is up, then we're still going to go up. Even if you buy now, likely that in two, three, four weeks, you're going to be in profit regardless. Yep. So... Uh, yeah, I think uh, it's what you, what we shared earlier as well on the chat, right? That likely we see some accumulation phase. Yeah, let's just use this one. Likely that we see some accumulation uh, price action. Yeah, uh, price action over here, which is absolutely normal. And uh, if not, then likely we have a redistribution scenario, yeah. and then we fall out and follow this this arrow that you had already drawn yeah. here. So. It's either from here we bounce after like a couple of days of uh, accumulation or right. we redistribute and then we just go back down here. Though I wouldn't like to see that, to be honest. But I think some uh, some uh, breathing time for altcoins also to catch up to Bitcoin, uh, that, would be, yeah. uh, that would be fucking awesome. But the, uh, the pace, it went up. Uh, yeah, the previous, now the past few weeks, it's yeah. insane. Yeah. It's uh, just... <laughs> The slow and boring price action of the weeks before, and then just a pump instantly. Yep. Yeah, surprised a lot of people. Definitely. And now we are above the like resistance level 48k. Yep. So that's a very interesting move. Yep. Um, people on X are also calling for like a, a early bull run. Early bull run it can yeah. happen. What is? What's your opinion on that? Yeah. So I don't know if you remember, but I've been telling already, uh, already a lot of time that I think this is going to be more of a bull run like the 20, 2017, 2016 one. I think it's just, it looks very much alike. Whoops, what happened to, yes. Double clip. Yeah, no good. Okay. So I think it's just going to have the same effect and it's going to be basically the same stuff, right? So this is going to be a constant uptrend. Maybe we, 
likely we're not going to see the same gains we saw here, but it's going to be the same, you know? It's going to go up, 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 sharper, sharper, and sharper, and then all of a sudden, boom, crash, gone. Yeah. Right. So I think it's going to be more of like this style rather than 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 this one over here, which this one looked also exactly the same as as this one here, though not with the same yeah. gains once again. So that would be the most logical part. But the setup is different. The structure is different. The market is different. The era where we are at now is different. But if we would have to take an example, I think this would be something that we would be having. I mean, you can already see, for example, this sideways action, it is pretty comparable to this one. Yeah. I mean, it, it's you cannot deny that. And then this crash over here, and then the, the trend up, I mean, it's basically this, you know? Trend yeah. up, crash, which, guys, you might say, oh, but this is not a crash. Look at this. It's a 33% drop. So please do know what do know what it's happening here and then also with this one right they would say oh but this is not a drug i'll take here till the week below it's a 40 percent crash so we're going to go up we're going to have crashes along the way but use those crashes for what robin said have cash on the sideline and just buy in don't be scared buy in that that's that's it that's literally the game now we've been buying already the past four or five months we've been very vocal about it yep as you guys should you should just buy now, hold for 10 months. And as I said in the chat, because nobody said it, uh, like nobody as well, bro, nobody, you need to change your name tag. You need to change it. <laughs> Help us out. Bro. Yeah, Help you need out. to change your game. No, you need, say you need to fucking change your name tag. But nobody said it. It's just people are saying, oh, it's going to run until the end of 2025. No, it's not. Likely it's going to be end Q4 this year or beginning uh, of Q1 next year. So 2025. By the latest, it would be Q2 2025. And by that time, you want to be already 80% out of the market. But I'm saying this now. But in one year, everything, of course, might change. And it might be longer or it might be shorter. So, uh, yeah. Then we look at uh, the PI indicator. Uh, because in the PI indicator, yeah, there is also a line included, I believe, where you can see. Let's see if this happens. Is it this one? No, right? This one is like the more uh, the more complex one. But yeah. yeah, I think people just can still understand it here, you know? It's like we're getting into a, a good spot, right? So, and likely, as, as I said earlier, likely we see something like this. Just like on the upper band, start trading above it, and then just go, 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 go. And you can see it here already. Yep. And so, uh, yeah, I, I mean... Uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be really, really interesting. I think uh, let's see if we get the two week one. Yeah. I mean, we're entering overheated areas yeah. and this is, but this is, this makes my point even stronger now because look at what happened here. We started entering these overheated areas pretty early on. Yet what happened? We were just like bouncing off the whole time, right? As here, Absolutely. here we didn't here. We were like just hanging around and then all of a sudden, boom, and then we got super overheated like super overheated and that's what that's what's happening right now at the moment you know it's uh we're going to see this i'm just yeah i'm just super confident on that we're, I'm, we're just but going to see that once we're in a, par a parabolic phase it doesn't really tell you a lot the rsi exactly because yeah. it's always overheated yeah for long uh, yeah for a long time actually. basically yeah and then you can always do this you know because it's i think it just should be from this one you can always do this and then see, oh, we might top out here, blah, 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 blah. And then we just like do this while we're making a um, bearish divergence, you know, that while the RSI is going lower, that the price still goes up. That might be a scenario, but we need to have some sort of correction and sideways action going on before we actually continue to go up. That would be the the, the ideal scenario for, for me, but that's wishful thinking. We need to see what the market does. As well as keeping an eye on the new pool. Please let me find my link here. Otherwise, I will just send you mine. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yes, sir. Because this one is free. And this one is the one, uh, the indicator that I follow already for a long time. And again, this is likely what we're going to see with, with, with Bitcoin, you know, just some sort of this price action on, on the new pool. And then all of a sudden, we just, you know, tip it. And then there it is. And then gone. And then it's literally, <laughs> it's literally gone. And um, this is where we are at right now, the moment. One second. Yeah. 
So this is where we are at, at, at this moment. So you want to be careful. You want to have some cash on the sidelines and, uh, you know, just take advantage of the dip. Well, that's a short time frame, man. Yeah, no, I know. For but, the red area. Yeah, but people, people shouldn't really be uh, afraid of the red area. It's just more of an indicator because usually when we get into the uh, euphoria greed phase, it takes like what one or two weeks <clears throat> before an actual top is in. So it's not going to be instant, but it's definitely not going to be late as well. So there's going to be a fine window where things happen. And uh, yeah, though we might seem overheated, historically, the real party starts after the halving. Oh, yeah. And do you have tips for the viewers that want to know how to sell or when to sell? Yeah, so that's a, that's a great thing. Uh, it's going to be the first time that I say this join our chat yeah join our chat <laughs> i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sugarcoat it join it's our not chat. one second formula yeah it's just a, a multiple factors exactly which you have to weigh in and you have to analyze the data on a weekly on a monthly basis yeah. on a daily basis yeah and look at uh, specific um also indicators yeah. and at stuff like this yeah. websites like this and with, uh, more insights and we already do that so just join the chat join the chat and it's going to be there we're going to provide it to you and uh, oftentimes like literally every day every people like everyone asks for charts for different tokens and it's just yeah we we take them all just send us the, take them all yeah just share the name of the token and when we have time we will look at it usually we always answer within literally 10 minutes because yeah, you're quick yeah uh, you're yeah quick. i mean i work I, I i work behind my laptop so it's it's easy you know i see the <laughs> notification boom, 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 and then gone i i just like to hype the chat out <laughs> when there's big yeah. yeah 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 that's no, my part no i mean we've, we've been having analysis as well yeah we've been having a lot of people in the channel lately yeah. uh well we've had a lot but now more people get, are getting active which is really nice to see so uh, and you're getting two experienced uh, opinions before we share stuff uh, yeah, exactly. most of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So before we share anything, we already talked about it. So yeah, yeah I mean, it's viewed by an unbiased uh, entity, so to speak, right? So most of the times we already talk about it. And uh, oftentimes we just, yeah, we just post it and people love it. Yeah, we have small differences in few points, but I think that's ranked that's that, that's the analysis, right? That's what you want, in my opinion. You don't want to have two people having always the same opinion. No, not like two moon boys. No, 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 no. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Which can be rectified if you look at our portfolio. Yeah. And uh, the the past growth, because uh, like we have like five, six altcoins now, mm -hmm. and how many are in a huge loss? There's literally no coin that we have shared, and I say that with. Oh my proud of the world say to the camera there's no fucking altcoin that we have shared that's in a loss absolutely nothing yeah. nothing pano absolutely fire gsx bro that was insane that was insane <laughs> three digit gains yeah zero km we had uh, so gx gsx you said realio 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 yeah so uh, veracity also we shared it though ldy I, ldy ldy as well <laughs> though i have to say veracity i sold my bag still at profit but I sold my bag and that allowed me actually to allocate more funds into other coins that were growing at the moment and just triplicate my money. Yep. So I'm not sad about it. I'm not salty about it. I, I, I'm happy I did that because it allowed me to diversify even more because I had a lot of money into Veracity. And uh, thanks to that diversification, I managed to pull a four eggs on my uh, entire portfolio. Yep. So really happy I did that. But still, people that had it made also like 30, 40 percent gains already uh, within the last uh, two, four days, I think, because of the pump. But yep. before it, all the FUD it had, it did like two, 200 percent, something like that. Mm -hmm. So not that bad at all. And then we traded that move up as well. So, yeah, I bought at a 48 cent and my average selling price is uh, a seven, uh, seven one. So 71 cents. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which is great gains. And I will maybe buy back eventually, uh, but I want to clearly see improvements in uh, in POV. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, same here. I want to see uh, clear improvements on the tokenomics, on the communication from the team, because product might work well. Who cares about the product? You want to see they like caring about the community and about the tokens, about the tokenomics, because it's just too fishy. I mean, uh, it's just too fishy. And as we always say, right? Don't burn your back don't marry it because it, it can it can break you it uh, can break you. we looked at the roadmap rationally and uh, we decided yeah to, uh, it was to it but... was the worst shit ever i mean yeah. I, I mean i my first reaction was emotional but after reading it i got even more emotional more mad but uh, then of course the rationality came through and it was like 
Uh, this shit is not gonna move. Uh, beta testing starts in Q2. Who the fuck cares about beta testing? What the fuck is even beta testing? Yeah. You know, <laughs> like I'm a software engineer. I know what beta testing entails, but come on, man, like provide some more um, insights into it. Like what the fuck is that? And then the article that they dropped with the CTO, it's just also, it's the same shit that they have been saying over and over and over again, just said by another person. That's it. So yeah. that's the only reason I did that. Uh, the project might still be good. The, the, the business, it's it's perfect. The business yeah. is perfect. The, so the, really well. the, the crypto, the web three part, you know, it, it, it's just what shit. It's just what shit. So, but as Robin said, I will gladly buy in a, at high prices. I will gladly do that. I will buy my 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 millions of coins that I had. I will buy it gladly at the top. I don't care. But if it's fixed, I'm doing it. But yeah, if you're it's not, not only fixed, investing in the company, you're investing in the in the community. Exactly. In the in the current price action, in the current movements, in the current yeah. trends in the market. So. Uh, yeah, if you sum it up and look at uh, what's actually happening, it was not looking great uh, because no. they didn't do a, a com community-based decision making no. that they liked. Only the burning part of the tokens, but when it came to to the POV migrations, it took too long. No transparency, no insights, no updates. It took for fuck's sake. It took four months before we heard anything yeah. about the migration. We never do impulsive selling no. or just instantly this decide we nope. just have to figure it out on a rational way yeah and then share it uh, very open yeah and don't get us wrong sometimes irrationality is good but in such scenarios it's just better to think through look at all the possible outcomes and just wait it out you know because you might get lucky but yep. you need to wait it out and and see what happens and see how the community ev evolves and develops and then you take an action Exactly. So, uh, and we did that. We just did that, and then it paid up. It paid up well because we sold on time. We bought other tokens on time, and then it it did what it had to do. We made profit with Foresti. Uh, we made more profit, even uh, more profit. Yeah, <laughs> if, we would have, if we would have waited for that, it would have been it would have been a massacre. Portfolio oh, yeah. wouldn't be as it was right now. I bought a lot of Zircan. You bought a lot of GSX from it. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> like that absolutely. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely, yes. And then I think mm. one thing before we end up this uh, this video is, guys, make sure you invite people to the chat because we want to grow before the bull run starts. It actually started theoretically, but technically it didn't because of the halving, blah, blah, blah. But make sure you invite people because you're going to help them along the way. I, I mean, he invited already some friends. I invited some friends over. They're already making gains. It's just good for you, good for your friends, good for, for your family, right? I mean, the good thing about doing crypto is that you can make gains or make losses together with other people, which makes the road even better, you know? So you don't want to be later on to buy alone, right? You want to be with your mates, with your wife, with, with your community. With so, them. yeah. And maybe, who knows, maybe in one year we can do a meetup and then I'll take this mask off. Of course. But until then, <laughs> I'm taking that shit off. Or 10K followers. <laughs> 10K followers. Yeah, or yeah. Dubai. Yeah, please don't buy bots. We don't do bots. Please don't buy bots. <laughs> you, may, you may buy bots. Although, otherwise, to, I need to start already taking my mask off. So... <laughs> But yeah, I think uh, I think this was it. I think we talked about everything. I think for the people that stayed till here, uh, I can share something that I did earlier. Just real quick, I just hopped on on a real quick trade uh, on GHX. Uh, I think we might see some uh, nice price action. Uh, oh, actually, it's already happening. So I think we might see some nice price action over here. Let me take this out. Sorry, Robin, because okay, we just uh, tested this zone over here, this area. So this like high-ish. And we just retested it with a double bottom quickly on the five hour time frame. I think on the four hour time frame, it will look exactly the same. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I think we might get a push here. Then I will sell the, the trading bag. And then enough, of course, just still hold the, the holdup bag and just trade it. So uh, I won't share this in the Telegram. I will leave it here for the, yeah, for the people that came and watched till this far. And uh, yeah, I won't add anything else. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if you have anything else. Just uh, don't wait on the sidelines. Just <laughs> communicate yeah. and join the chats. Join every conversation we have. Uh, ask us questions. So mm -hmm. Just get involved. Yeah, get That's involved. It. That's it. That's literally what you have to do. Get involved. Yep. All right, guys. This was us. So till the next time. Bye-bye. If I find the button. Peace.